there are certain targets that just draw you back again and again and tonight I'm in the garden shooting one of those, the Andromeda Galaxy. Hey, hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Tonight I'm going to be in the garden photographing the Andromeda Galaxy. Now the Andromeda Galaxy was the first ever deep space target that I ever photographed and that's probably the case for quite a few astrophotographers. Now it is a huge uh, galaxy that's um, relatively close, so 2.5 million light years away, but it's easy to locate in the sky, it's quite a big target, it's quite bright or it's very bright, so it's an easy beginner's target and as such quite a few astrophotographers start by photographing this this galaxy and like I said it was the first target I photographed but I've since gone back and photographed it two or three times since then but I'm still not quite happy with the final image so I wanted to try and photograph it again and do it justice uh, tonight so I've set up um, and I'm going to be photographing the Andromeda Galaxy using the LRGB filters so I just wanted to quickly show you my uh, setup tonight and what I'm going to be using Okay, so this is my rig for tonight. I am shooting the target with the William Optics Z73 telescope. So this is a wide field refractor at 430 millimeters, and it's one of the reasons why I wanted to buy a wide field refractor. So to fit targets such as the Andromeda Galaxy into frame, I definitely could not fit the whole of the Andromeda Galaxy into the frame with my Skywatcher 119 Mac Newton. So I'm photographing the target with the ZWO ASI 1600 mono, so it's a dedicated mono astro camera with uh, cooling. I am shooting through filters, so obviously being a mono camera I need some filters and tonight I'm going to be using the LRGB filter set. Again that's the ZWO filter set I'm using. And on top I have the ASI Air Pro which I'm using for my guiding and my image capture. So again, a really nice, simple uh, setup. And I have the 120 mini and the 30 mil F4 guide scope, mini guide scope. So that's all sat on top of, um, on top of my scope. So I have all of this on top of my, my mount that I use, which is the NEQ6 Pro, the Skywatcher NEQ6 Pro. So yeah, hopefully I can get some some good data tonight and finally do this target justice. So you can probably hear but my session has been interrupted by rain. You can see clear outside says so no cloud at all. All of the other forecasts tonight have said there is uh, it's clear, clear all night long in Siren Sister as you can see. Um, but it is absolutely pouring of rain so I've had to uh, quickly run outside and put the, the cover on the scope um, as you can see over here hopefully I've just got a, a pretty cheap barbecue cover which I just throw over the top of the, the scope when it starts to rain but hopefully it won't, uh, won't last too long I'm still holding up a bit of hope that I can collect some data tonight but I haven't actually managed to, to start collecting any images yet. I had a bit of a shocker with um, with my setup tonight so the ASI Air has um, power outputs and I use them to power both my camera and also my dew heater and I always set the dew heater for around 80% power and what I didn't realise is that I set the put the camera and the dew heater into the wrong um, power output so I had my camera set at 80% power and I had no idea why nothing was working very well so I was trying to set the cooling to minus 20 which I normally set it at and it could get to about minus 6 and then it just re was really struggling and couldn't get any any lower and it's, it's probably it's probably about zero degrees out here tonight so shouldn't have any issues getting to minus 20 um, and I just couldn't work out what the issue was so after after about an hour I realised that I just plugged the dew heater and I plugged the uh, camera into the, the wrong ports. So that was a stupid mistake on my part. Um, and then I had about, had about two exposures um, 
on Andromeda before it uh, clouded over and now as you can hear it's pouring with rain so, so far it's not gone according to plan. Okay so it is half 11 now and after a full night of clear skies forecasted by all of the apps I've only managed to get about 15 minutes of usable data on the Andromeda galaxy so I don't know whether you can see but there's a there's some rain in the air still, it's still spitting. There's a huge bank of cloud. Um, I can see one or two stars, but there's a big bank of cloud over there, which is where the, the weather's coming from. So I've decided to pack it in tonight. Um, hopefully I get some clear night uh, night soon. It's been a long time since I've been able to get any, any uh, usable data, but yeah, I'll keep trying. Hopefully I can uh, can can get some, uh, some good data soon. Anyway, the scope's parked as you can probably see, so it's in the home position, so just about to pack it in and then get some sleep.